Hey everyone, welcome to this shortwave radio channel. And um, as I was uh, actually uh, talking about my um, setup that now has VHF capability here on the ICOM, I've set the antenna back up and um, it's dedicated to VHF, UHF listening for now as it's on the mobile vertical in the back. Uh, I've also set it up back with H, uh, HRD Amrado Deluxe and the satellite tracking software here so that I can uh, actually control the radio. But um, like I said, what I'm uh, doing right now is that that side that looks very messy right now is going to be dedicated to analog. I'm slowly putting all the analog radios there. There's going to be only analog stuff on that side. So this is going to be, I think, interesting. Um, and as for the um, shortwave stuff, well, uh, this side, of course, having the ICOM and having also the uh, the RSP1A here up in the uh, on the, um, as the, the the screen here with the computer so uh, the SDR the RSP1A will be on the W6LBP loop I will keep this Yesu on the sloper like that I can compare also at the same time and of course like I said I'm dedicating the uh, ICOM to VHF so I think it's going to be fun. It's going to be that setup. And of course, this is the side of digital radios. So I'll put a few uh, portable digital radios like this. And uh, this laptop here is going to move away. It's going to go in the uh, living room. So this is going to be the, uh, the digital side. And the other side is going to be the analog side. And of course, all of that's going to work. So during the week, I'll be actually working on that. And of course, both radios here will be uh, set up. I kind of like the uh, setup also, the fact that because there's a, uh, you know, the Yesu is on a different antenna, I can actually monitor something that I want to monitor on, say, the uh, Yesu here, and listen to signals. And I can, of course, keep it, so I was, I've been keeping it all day on the uh, frequencies where I hear these uh, kind of bush radios up in the north of uh, Quebec. And of course, my uh, RSB1A that I actually tune around, I was listening a little earlier to uh, transatlantic uh, flights that were happening on um, the uh, 11 megahertz band. So uh, just having fun and we're going to kind of uh, check out uh, and, and have this uh, side with two radios on the shortwave. Of course, uh, a lot of people have been asking, yes, I'm keeping the sloper. Sloper antenna is going to be on the Yesu, and the sloper is staying out. It's staying on the um, in the backyard. I'm not removing it because I got the loop. I think it's interesting to have more than one antenna and uh, tune around the bands. So um, back pretty much to normal, including the VHF UHF stuff uh, that's going to happen here because I kind of find uh, satellite tracking more interesting on the ICOM, especially when I need to take control. A tuning dial is a tuning knob is actually much easier to follow the Doppler of and the different stations that talk on satellites, for example. And uh, I've actually set up the ICOM with its own separate uh, computer speakers that are here. So these are for the ICOM, where the speakers that are here and here are for the uh, RSB1A that you see here. And my trusty old uh, realistic speaker that's right here is, go is on the uh, Yesu here. So everybody has its own speaker. And uh, this, I think, is kind of cool. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.